Remember the socks that fight poverty? The co-founder of Conscious Step, Hassan, is with us today again. And he's here to talk with us about conscious businesses in New York. Hassan, when would you exactly describe a business as conscious? I think having a definition for a conscious or a social business can be difficult because these days more and more businesses are moving towards socially responsible practice, which is great. But personally, I'd consider uh, a conscious business as one whose leading mission or purpose is to contribute to people and planet and to turn a profit second. So would you say it's trendy in New York to be a bit conscious with your business? I think certainly we've seen a big increase in the number of uh, conscious businesses or social enterprises as they're also known, um, certainly in New York but also the world throughout. Um, and I think it's a result of a generation of increasingly conscious consumers and entrepreneurs uh, who understand that business can be a, uh, a sustainable, scalable way to solve some of the world's problems. And which conscious business or startups should we definitely keep an eye on? Um, there's so many, uh, but one that comes to mind that's exciting me at the moment is one called uh, Neverwhere. So Neverwhere is a company that's invented this little box that can be plugged into old, slow computers uh, that transforms them into machines that can run 21st century software. And so they're bringing these machines to disadvantaged schools in New York City uh, that can't afford new computers to completely upgrade their system so that the children can learn with the benefit of modern technology uh, at a fraction of the cost. Thanks, Hassan. And if you guys at home want to know more about conscious businesses, make sure to check out interconnection.com.